Bonjour friends and happy French Friday to you. Thank you for joining me today. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay friends, in my last video I mentioned that I wanted to make my own black and white checked Easter eggs uh, because I wanted to tie in the black and white in my dining room uh, just tie it all together with putting some black and white on my tree because right now I have all like pastel colors mainly on the um, Easter tree that we decorated a couple weeks back and uh, I had a subscriber asked if I would share that idea uh, with with all of you when I go to do that project so of course I said yes I would share this uh, DIY project with you all. And uh, so that's what I wanted to do today is uh, share this idea. And there's probably a million different ways of doing this, but I'm gonna share with you how I'm gonna do it, my eggs. And I already had um, this black and white checked fabric on hand. So I'm gonna use what I have already at home. And then I already have these plain eggs in my Easter stash. And some of them are brown and some are white. And I'm just going to be covering these eggs uh, with the fabric that I have. And then I just used some ribbon and the jute twine that I already had on hand. And um, what I use to attach the, the fabric with is this Mod Podge. And then I use this No Sew Fabric Glue uh, to attach the ribbon along the sides here, along the sides of the egg. And then I just use the jute twine for my hanger. Now you could make these without a hanger if you don't want to hang them on a tree too. You could just make them without that just to use uh, for decor and putting them in a bowl or something for Easter. Um, just using them for Easter decor. And I just use this um, the jute twine to make a little bow. And I just tied that on to my hanger uh, part of the egg. So, and then... Um, you can decorate your eggs however you want and use whatever fabric you would like to go with your Easter colors. And uh, yeah, and you could probably even use um, tissue paper or scrap of paper instead of fabric. So like I said, there's probably a million different ways of doing this, but I'm gonna share with you uh, my way of doing it today. Okay, I have already cut several little squares out uh, to get me started. I'm gonna need more than what I've already cut here, but I will uh, cut more as I go along as, as needed. And uh, you could probably even cut strips of fabric and use uh, scrap fabric, whatever you have. But like I said, I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do it today. And I've cut uh, squares, small squares out um, to fit around the egg.
Okay, I ended up making seven eggs here to hang on my tree. I like to do things in odd numbers and I kept them pretty simple and just added that ribbon along the edge there kind of to disguise where my uh, fabric met and uh, kind of hide uh, disguise that. So I think they turned out really nice. And then I also did some with the ribbon going across the egg as well. And so yeah, I like how these turned out and they were a pretty simple, easy DIY project. And like I said, you could always do these in any color uh, that you would like to go with your Easter decor. Okay, I've added the black and white checked eggs and I think they look really nice on the tree. And they just kind of help tie in the bow that we have here up on our bunny tree topper. And then of course the black and white checked buffalo curtains here in the dining room. So I think that that helps just to add a little bit of black and white to our tree. And I think they turned out nice. The other thing I added recently was this Hello Easter sign to the tree because I had already added the egg hunt and the little bunny picture down here. I wanted to add one more because I like to do things in odd numbers. So I thought that looks nice, a uh, nice little addition to the tree. And then the other thing I recently added was these little blue bunny picks from the Dollar Tree store. I think I got these last year and I just broke the um, the end of it off just to make it shorter so that the, the stick wasn't so long and then just stuck those in the tree. So I think that those look really cute and I added three of those little bunnies. And the other one is over here on this side of the tree. And I think our little eggs look super cute on here. Hope that you're happy with how that DIY turned out. Okay friends, next I thought we would decorate my mantle for Easter and I've already went ahead and cleaned the mantle off and we are ready to go. It's nice and clean and the only thing I went ahead and added was my greenery garlands here. I like to use this mossy green garland and then I also added this eucalyptus garland as well as this Easter garland. And the Easter garland came from Ross. It is a six foot uh, bunny and carrot banner. I think that's super cute. And then I've also added already, uh, like I showed you earlier, I have my lanterns on either side. I have my little step stool here too so that I can stand on that to decorate because I am a shorty. <laughs> so uh, we are ready to start decorating. Okay, so the first thing I want to add is this really cute Easter wreath that I purchased from Walmart. Okay, so I've added the wreath to the front of the mirror and uh, I think that looks really nice and ties in really well with the carrot and bunny garland down here that we've got hanging. Okay, the next thing I want to add to our mantle here is this garden little cute uh, fencing here. and. I have three of them and I thought originally that I would paint these like in a white or cream color and then to distress them and let the black show through but I've decided to just leave them the way they are because I actually want to bring out some pop of color with this black uh, because I do already have a lot of cream going on with the mantle being that color and the mirror and everything so I want to bring out the black that I have already in some accent pieces in the room so I think this will look nice just the way it is. Okay and so here it is so far with the fencing up there on the mantle. 
Next, I'll be adding this little pedestal here to add a little height in the center because I want to set a bunny, I think, on top of here. And so that will give my bunny a little bit of height. Okay, I've added that. Now it's time to add the bunny. Okay, I've added the bunny there and I really like how that's looking so far. Okay, next I've added the topiaries with the ivy. I think that looks really pretty. I also added a little bit of ivy garland, ran that through the little fencing that I have. And so just bringing in that greenery and giving it a sort of a garden effect in here on the mantle. I have some more eucalyptus uh, little picks that I would like to add to uh, the mantle, just bringing again the outdoors indoors right now. And this is the perfect time when we have to be inside now um, because of the COVID-19, it's nice to bring the outdoors indoors <laughs> so that we can enjoy uh, some greenery and flowers inside and some may also add these white flowers from the Dollar Tree store and then I have this the shorter stem eucalyptus is from originally from Target and then the longer stems that I have here let me grab this one this these uh, longer stemmed ones here are from uh, Walmart so I will be adding just more greenery to the mantle now Okay, so here's how it looks after I've added the eucalyptus picks and the white flowers. Next, I think I would like to add maybe a couple more bunnies and this nest here that I have. Okay, I've added the bunnies and the nest and now I'm going to add some carrots, I think, and some other items. Okay, I have these carrots and uh, these uh, carrots I got from the Target Dollar Spot for $3. And then these came from Marshall's. And these are also from Target Dollar Spot. I am also thinking about adding these cute uh, boxwood topiaries from Walmart. And we'll see uh, how those look on the mantle. Okay, I've added the two boxwood topiaries and the carrots. And I really like how this has all come together. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this Decorate With Me, my mantle for Easter. Okay friends, so I was vacuuming this week and my vacuum just decided to stop working on me and I have been totally into cleaning and organizing and getting things done around the house so I had to get a new vacuum right away to replace the old one 
and I thought I would just share um, this new vacuum with you and let you know how it works and I thought I would do sort of kind of um, like an unboxing uh, type video for you and and show you what it looks like and all that and how it works. Okay friends, so far I am super happy with how this vacuum is working and uh, I am just excited to be vacuuming again. I'm back in business getting my house all clean and tidy. So I am excited for that after my other one breaking on me this week. This is not a sponsored video by the way, I just wanted to share this with you. All right, friends, that's going to wrap up today's video. So stay safe and healthy. And until next time, friends, I'll see you in the next one. All right, au revoir.